Welcome back, one and all, to a wonderful time. We're playing some Sega Genesis games, and we're playing them for an hour. And we won't play them for any longer than an hour, because I got things to do, like play other video games for more hours. Today's episode, the highly sought after... Sega! Sonic the Hedgehog. Developed by Sonic Team, published by Sega, of course. You all know the story. You've probably all played Sonic the Hedgehog. At the very least, probably at least Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Uh, anyway, this is this is the game's demo. It's just doing its own thing. So let's let's get in here and uh, play it ourselves here. No options menu. Sonic was not about options menus. There is no option to play Sonic. There is only the obligation to play Sonic. Now immediately, if. If there is anybody who has not played the first Sonic, but is familiar with um, some of the other Genesis games, or heck, even the Game Boy Advance games, you may notice that this is uh, this is fairly low pace for Sonic. Like, this isn't that fast. I think it's a common misconception that Sonic has always been about speed. Sonic 1, right here, this has always been about pure platforming, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, there are some kind of fast sections. But for the most part, it's exploring some very well-made levels uh, that frequently have, you know... Um... <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to platform while talking. Well, they have multiple routes usually, is what I'm really just trying to say here. Like, look at that. We could have taken the lower route, but we chose the higher route. That's where Sonic really shines makes it a very replayable game. You, uh... Ooh, almost died there. You want to play it multiple times so you can see... You know... Wow, no, all my coins! I needed those! <laughs> you want to play it multiple times so you can see what the various uh, paths and the levels have for you. Well, I would have been able to go to the bonus level, but I lost all my coins. Supposed to get 50 to go to the bonus level. Now I have um, I've beaten this game on original hardware, although it was with um, the help of the level select cheat. So perhaps you can't really say that I truly beat it. The labyrinth zone gets hairy. <laughs> you all know that it's, it's the most infamous zone of them all in this first game. Obviously, what can I say about it? Gorgeous music, gorgeous graphics, like, it's a genuinely fantastic looking game to this day. You just see the slight parallax in the background there, the, the foreground shaking around and shimmying while the background just stays there and it's in its right place. Oh yeah, look, look at that. Have a little speed there. Now, un unfortunately, as we can see, the, uh, the invincibility does not save you from uh, bottomless pits, and I kind of completely forgot that uh, you can interact with the landscape in that way. I thought something would have caught me, but uh, nope, caught off guard. I have also, just for fun, gone the Chaos Emeralds route in this game, but I think I mentioned this in the Shadow Dancer episode. The only way that I even stood a chance of doing that was uh, with save states, because the bonus stages in this game are nuts. They're very difficult to beat. Legitimately. <laughs> so the one time that I got the Chaos Emeralds ending, which may I say for the first game, not worth it. <laughs> that was all save states, and I am not too afraid to admit it. Okay, don't die right here again. This is why you, you don't want to get ahead of yourself and think that the game is just all speed, because that's a very easy way of getting yourself stuck down a bottomless pit. Okay. Or running into something that you really did not want to run into. Oh, stay, stay on the upper stage here. Ay ay ay! I went too fast and I missed the ring again! What are you doing? <laughs> All right. We'll see a bonus stage eventually here, but this this goes to show you why it's so hard to get the Chaos Emeralds in this game. Even just making it into the bonus stage can be a contentious affair. Whoa! 
<laughs> Alright. That happened. Additionally, I believe, um... You have to earn extra continues on top of extra lives. Making it a remarkably tricky game to actually beat. Which is why I haven't done it without the level select. Uh, I, I'm sure I could. But it's the whole question of... How much do you value beating it when all that really changes is that you have to do it many times. <laughs> it's not like some games where it's difficult in that, wow, it's very hard to get past point B, but once you do, then you can chip away at point C. It's like, no, you just straight- oh yeah, now we're fast. It's just kind of straight up, you have to uh, do everything over and over. Which is common for games of this. Uh, vintage, should I say? Okay. I'm, I may be wasting my ultra high speed here, but I don't, I don't trust any of these uh, leaps of faith. That's what we call it. I'm feeling real slow today in the head for some reason as well. Like, just had kind of an entire day of work where I was like, I hate this. I wish I didn't have to do it. And that's just kind of eroded the rest of my brain. <laughs> okay, you definitely want this for this portion so that you don't have to uh, play by the game's rules. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just get a few more coins here because we can. Oh, hold on, hold on. I knew it! I mean, we just kind of went backwards, but <laughs> I had to prove to myself that that... That was a thing that could be done there. Okay, and then just take it easy. The time does count up, but if I'm remembering correctly, that you are still, like, timed according to, uh... <laughs> I can't say anything right now. Okay. With Fight Robotic. What I'm saying is that once that timer counts up to a certain point, you're done. It's a, it's, it's a death for you. Now, these are the ancient tactics here, where as long as you can hold on to this one ring, you can never actually die. Because I keep... <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! Come on, come on, baby, come on, baby! There goes the ring. Okay, we're gonna die. Okay, we got him, though! We got them! I'm not gonna- I'm not giving you the most impressive Sonic the Hedgehog gameplay that you've ever seen right now. Just be aware that I'm familiar with the game, but that doesn't mean I'm great at it. This is also a Genesis game where you could play the entire thing with an Atari 2600 controller. They do use the same connectors. You can plug an Atari controller into a Genesis, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe it works. Just like how a uh, Genesis controller works on an Atari. And since this game only uses one button, well, besides, I guess you couldn't pause, and you may have to use a, a different controller to start the game initially, but uh, once you're in the game, and if you don't have to pause, you gotta move and jump. Why you would want to use an Atari controller is beyond me. Let's be real, they're kind of garbage. They're worth nothing beyond the nostalgia value. Now, Marble Zone. More great music, undeniably. Game slows way down. This is the zone that um, Sonic Wits <laughs> uh, miniature Sonic fans uh, deride because they say, like, oh, it's so slow. The whole point of the game was to go fast, and then you have to go super slow. I'm like, yo, but that's why I'm saying I don't think the entire point was ever to go fast. I think you can go fast, but that's not like modus operandi. I mean, just because you can use blast proce processing doesn't mean you have to use blast processing all the time, right? I'm pretty sure that class processing doesn't actually mean anything as well. I, uh, I knew it was coming. I remembered that. That's how you know I've played this game before. Again, not saying I'm any good, just that uh, I am familiar. Yeah, just 
satisfying, tricky little platforming. It really is an exercise in showing how important presentation is as well. Because, like, the fantastic graphics are such- so Oh, yo, bonus stage, here we go! There's such a big part of what makes the game the game. Okay, so here's the bonus stage. We're probably gonna fail it immediately because they're an absolute pain. You have to navigate Sonic through this rotating hellscape to find an emerald at the end. Uh, problem is, there are many exits, and if you make it to an exit, you don't actually achieve anything. You might think that the exit is a good thing. Well, we've all been duped before. Okay, just trying to, I was gonna say, just trying to get myself down through here. See, like that down there? That's an exit. I want to go there. We, we want to stay here. We want, ah, yo, yo, yo. We want to get this chaos emerald, this trap right in here. And we've done it! We got a Chaos Emerald. They get harder than that. <laughs> and they're very tricky to navigate because there's so many things bumping you around and rotating it and speeding it up. And it's really designed for you to bounce around the walls and then just like yeet yourself directly into an exit. But that one, I'm happy that I did successfully. If it will show off how it works, you know, again, living under the assumption that there is one person in the world who has not played Sonic the Hedgehog? I suppose we'll hit that. Alright. Ride the block. Who doesn't love the ride the block part? It's just an auto-scroller with extra steps, really. There's stuff to get up there, but I don't think it's worth it. Actually, it probably would be, because you don't have to ride the block all the way to the end. I should have tried to go up there and see what was there, because I don't remember. Anyway, now we get chased by the lava. Spoilers! I forgot how slowly it chases you. That was kind of silly. Oh my god, the bats! The little robot bats! That's the plot, by the way. Dr. Robotnik has uh, turned all the animals into robots. To what end? I'm not sure even he knows. Uh, I mean, you know, presumably because tiny woodland critters are in large reserve at this point in history. And uh, robots do your bidding until they don't do your bidding anymore. You know, the, uh... Oh, okay, I guess I can just jump up here. <laughs> the plot of every sci-fi movie ever. Robots! You will help me rule the world! And then you rule the robot, and then the robots say, No, Jim. You will help us rule the world. That's the plot to every critically acclaimed sci-fi movie ever. I'm not knocking it. I mean, Blade Runner 2049 is my favorite sci-fi movie of all time. Yes, even more than the original Blade Runner. Some people are exasperated and confounded by that statement. I love 2049. It was... It was just, like, an even more imposing entry. I wouldn't mind seeing another Blade Runner movie. I think it's just that there's such a huge lack of big-budget cyberpunk that's done out there. I take whatever little bit I can get, because I... I desire it. That's why I gave Cyberpunk 2077 so many passes in its, uh... Rough development cycle. Ooh, look at those points come in! Yeah! It's because I just really wanted some big budget cyberpunk. And boy, that was what I got. It was not a perfect game, but when it, it, did a, it did a few things very right. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I, made the right, I made the right decision. That's right, and you can. You can stand in the lava for just a little bit when you have the invincibility. Although I probably should not risk it too much. I believe you can still get crushed, however. So, we're not gonna mess around with stuff falling from the ceiling, either. Hey, turn around, buddy. Fine, that's fine. We jump up here. And see, just 
man, I don't even know, I don't even know if there were 50 coins in that level. <laughs> what was I going to say? Yeah, just very satisfying platforming. Like 15 minutes have already passed and I haven't even noticed. It feels like three. Marble Zone Act 3? More marbles? Or as they say, Marble Zone Act 3. This one's for all the marbles. Now, is... This is not the one with the permanently repeating... Um... What am I saying? There's, there's one level, I think it's actually a Labyrinth Zone level, possibly, where, uh... You slide down this big old ramp and it just repeats infinitely, and if you don't know what you're doing, you're like, dang, this... A really long ramp. This sucker just keeps going, don't it? But that is not Marble Zone. We're fine here. We're fine. You know me. I'm just, I'm just playing it cautious. You never know when there's just going to be a single tile of lava that you can fall into and die in. Which I think with the bubble, I'd be saved from. A single touch of lava. But why would I risk it? <laughs> Love that animation. Ooh. See, there's so much, there's so much uh, spice in the game. Oh crap! I got that wrong. I got the momentum all wrong. Is the problem? Oh no! Okay, well. By, by being dropped down here, I have no choice but to die, unfortunately. I accept! Saved! Saved! We just have to do the whole thing over again. <laughs> Never mind, we're fine. And that answers what I thought about the lava, where it does not insta-kill you like a pit, it just hurts you like a bully who told you you're fat. Now, remember, Momentum. Momentum is key in this game. You gotta... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a, get a little bit of a start there. A little bit of a running jump. That's what I'm looking to say. Almost died on the spiky caterpillar. But the very spiky caterpillar was of no consequence to me. Oh my god, come on. I do have coins, so I... I don't have to be as cautious as I'm being. But again, why lose them? If you can help it, do help it. Now, obviously, you know, Sonic 1 doesn't get nearly the, the amount of celebration as Sonic 2 or even Sonic 3. A lot of reason, uh, I think it's because people are off-put that it does not include the spin dash move. You cannot hold down and press a, uh, a button and start charging up, as illustrated right there. But, I believe the game is still a great bit of fun despite all of that. Again, you, you just gotta change your headspace. You can't go into it being like, I'm ready to play the fastest Genesis game of all time, because it's not. There are faster Genesis games. You gotta go into it with the mindset of, I wanna play a fun little platformer. Think of it that way, and you can never lose. Nice jumps. Nice spiny boy. Okay, now I gotta wait for this dude to speed up. I think the time limit is five minutes as well, so I'm getting a little nervous. Maybe it was like seven minutes or something weird like that. I don't remember. It's it's just really weird that it counts up and not down. Always gotta look up to the beat of the music. But don't do it for too long or you'll get shoveled right into the lava. Yo! That almost got me. But who cares about almost? We should be coming- Ah! What the hell? 
All me coins! No! <laughs> what the hell? Okay, well, that's, that's a problem. We could die here and I'd feel very silly. I feel very silly. And that's the game over? What the hell? Okay. <laughs> I did not intend on getting a game over 20 minutes into this episode. I feel horrible about that. Okay, well, start over. I uh, just pretend this is the start of the episode and that we're playing 40 minutes to lose in the Sega Genesis. Hello, hello everybody, welcome back to your favorite show on YouTube, where I play video games better than anyone else has ever done it. It's a fantasy world. It doesn't exist. But it can exist for just one paltry donation of 60 minutes of your time. I receive a monopolized hour of your precious time spent in your life. You receive practically nothing. In my opinion, an outstanding deal. I guess I could have taken the bottom route and seen what that was all about. Show off a little bit more of the game, take advantage of the multiple routes that I was talking about so much. So, you know what? Yeah, why not? I'll just willingly drop down. So we can see all of the chameleons down here. See this waterfall. It's it's really something down here, right? I I man, I oh, I miss. I honestly forgot the ending was that close. That's how rarely I take that bottom route. <laughs> Completely <laughs> forgot about that. That's all right. It's whatevs. I want to talk like a uh, you know girl in the year 2004. Boy, what a time. Everyone's all about the 90s nostalgia. I'm waiting for when people are all about the 2000s nostalgia, because that those were really my truly formative years. Like, yeah, okay, I was, I was born in 92, so obviously I learned how to, like, talk and read and stuff like that at that period in time, but, uh... I really learned what it means to, uh... Make everybody either love or hate you <laughs> with uh, three simple interactions in the 2000s. I think I still have the occasional troubles with that. There is an extra life over there, and I have no idea if that's something that I can get from where I am here. Probably not. I've probably taken the wrong route. So let's just not worry about it. Even though extra lives would be right up my alley right now, and I would love to have some, I guess. The plan right now is to just not die. It's asking a lot for me, but, uh, you know. Here we go! Yo! Okay, fine. <laughs> That's the kind of speed you threw. Yeah! We made that one, though. We made that one. Missed one ring, got the other. Just in time for me to completely dodge the Chaos Emerald in here and not get it at all. We'll see. As you can see, this looks very very similar to the uh, bonus stage that they had at Krusty Burger. What did I tell ya? Dodge, <laughs> dodge the Emerald <laughs> and go directly to the exit. I mean, we got some points at least. They're hard to get. I'm sure that there are very, very skilled people who can just, like, on command, do a Chaos Emerald ending without even the slightest breaking of a sweat. I'm not one of them. I suppose if I wanted to, like, dedicate way too much of my life to getting much better at Sonic the Hedgehog, I could! But I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> there are so many video games to play, and I want to play them all! That's my biggest regret in, you know, mortality. There'd be so many video games that I never got to try before I died. Some people are like, oh, that's an unhealthy way to think about life, or, oh, don't be so negative about that. And I'm like, my guy, that's like a fairly innocuous, uh, little observation there. Okay, come on now. This is the problem with the no spin dash in this game. What I really wanted to do is, uh, jump up to the top and get that extra life, but I don't think that you can from here. 
I think I'm I'm sealed away. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. This bit I had the uh, invincibility last time, but this time I have to do it the correct way, which is that. Don't get attacked. I want to make it into another bonus round. What I was gonna say, that bonus round looked very similar to the one I did last time. That is because, shit, the bonus levels are not tied to the stage that you're in, but rather their own separate progression. You go to bonus level one, does, what the heck? No iframes? I forgot about that. I'm not actually mad, by the way, I'm just being dramatic. So yes, if you go to bonus stage one in like Marble Zone Act 2, you're always going to get bonus stage one, even if you enter bonus stage one from Green Hill Zone Act 1. And then they just kind of keep progressing like that in their own separate from the main stage progression progression. I do believe... I'm resetting. I'm resetting and there's nothing you can do to stop me. I don't remember how I accessed like the uh the level select. I am so sorry about this. This is the last reset, I promise, I promise. We're gonna actually make some progress after this. Don't don't trust his lies. <laughs> this is where you turn that you uh, turn that Polaroid over and you select a different YouTube channel to watch because I'm just gonna drip feed you lies of an astonishing degree over and over. Do you know the first man in space was named Alfred? See? That was a lie. You would never know. Unless you were an expert in space history, because, you know, it takes an expert in space history to know the truth of who the first man in space was. I'm. man. I'm really reaching for the banter this time around. I'm doing what I can. I would love to get 100 coins to get one life. A mere single life is all that I desire. For I am a man who, who currently possesses no life. I'm like one coin away from 100 or not. Yo! Goal! <laughs> we got the ring! We got an extra life! We're good! Now we just gotta get the Chaos Emerald and see if we can make it a trifecta. See, it was worth resetting just for that. Don't even try to tell me that that was not worth the reset. If we get the Chaos Emerald, then you are under- You are legally obligated to agree that that was worth it. You cannot- Um... There we go. We're in here now. Oh man. You cannot bring me to court for, um, making you feel awful. Oh, come on now. Oh, so close. So close. Don't go! Don't go down the exit! Don't go down the exit! There are multiple exits, I believe. Yes. We got... Was that another extra life that we got or something? Yo! <laughs> we did it! We're so sick with it right now. See, sometimes you just have to get into the swing of it. We we got a full-blown continue! We got an extra life in the stage, a continue, the Chaos Emerald. Oh man, yeah, there is no resetting now. I won't even need to. I'll have a full-blown ass continue in my back pocket. I totally forgot how you earn, uh, those continues. It must be just, like, points in the bonus stage. But yeah, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling extremely awake right now. I'm definitely not gonna fall asleep in a narcoleptic fit on you. Promise. God, can you imagine if I was narcoleptic? If, okay, I'm getting my timing on that all wrong, so I say... I was gonna say we uh, we avoid those rings, but no, I can't. I can't do it. I need the rings. I'm feeling ring fever now, which is probably some obscure disease that you really, really don't want. But I'm here saying, give it to me. Give me the ring fever. 
just don't know how to get up there. It's got all kinds of stuff that I would love to taste. I want to eat of the fruits of what's on top of that loop to loop. Sometimes I just have to control myself and, you know, be a little boring. So boring we shall be. I saw those rings. Don't think I didn't. If nothing else, you get to listen to the Green Hill Zone music for even more. Yo! I was one ring away from another extra life. That feels awful. But we might get another Chaos Emerald. Wouldn't that feel great? <laughs> Offset the illness of uh, everything else. Or we'll just go directly into like a, the goal, as they call it. It's so disingenuous that they call it a goal, though. Because it is not where you want to be. No, oh, that was the goal! It was okay. It was a 50-50 shot, and I... I picked the wrong path. You never feel good about that. Okay, Green Hill. Zone 3. Act 3. It's Zone 1. Act 3. I'm losing it now. My hills are too green, and I'm getting lost in all the green sauce. All of the verde sauce. Give me all of your little rings. God, they're all so pretty. The rings, uh, the, the backgrounds, it's a beautiful game. Move over, Chess. There's a new The Beautiful Game in town. Whoa, 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 Stop that. I... See, I remember. I remember. Kinda wanted to jump up on that swing. I don't think it mattered. He wouldn't have gotten me anything. Anything important. I don't remember where those missiles keep coming from, but they're clearly coming from somewhere. Obviously, I'm gonna go up here. <laughs> oh, man. We're gonna get another extra life? Oh. Yes. See, that was all I needed. It was just like a tiny little warm-up period, and then like one run where I just do an absolutely abysmal job, and then you're good for life. Wait, 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 wait. I'll take more rings, please? <laughs> and now, and now I'm gonna lose them all because I can't seem to get one shot off on um, the big man here without getting myself hit. Okay, and see, now, now we do have iframes. I remember uh, complaining, no iframes, and now it's like, okay, maybe I'm just a liar. We've already confirmed this. Although I don't really lie to everybody that much, which just kind of makes me a liar in a different sense. I'm an abstract kind of liar. I was going to say, please be the last hit, because I can't take the stress of navigating that with zero. <laughs> uh, I was, I was going to say something like, it's harder than it looks, but... Maybe it's not. Maybe it's actually very, very simple, and I'm just playing very, very poorly. Ba -da -da -da. Great game. There's a reason that Sega decided to do what Nintendo couldn't. That was that was the marketing line there. Sega did what Nintendo couldn't. And everyone was like, wow, that's really clever. How'd they come up with that? Some kind of AI uh, slogan generator? In the year 1991? Couldn't be. To any of the um, Zoomers in chat who are not aware of what that riff was and why that was so unfunny, uh, 
piece of crucial gaming history that a lot of people already know. In the console wars of the Super Nintendo versus the Sega Genesis, uh, Sega, of course, wanted to brand themselves as being cooler than Nintendo, and Sonic was a big part of that, you know, Sonic, he's a, he's a cool protagonist, he does cool protagonist things like this, and that, that's it, that's all he does, um, and there was a, there was an infamous magazine ad that was for the Genesis, and it said, Sega does what Nintendo don't. And, I mean, if that ain't just straight fire, I don't know what is. So, yeah, on the off chance that there's anybody under the age of 73 viewing this channel who isn't... I almost got sucked into the wall right there! <laughs> just keep sucking, they say. Uh, yeah, just in case there's anybody who, you know, hasn't already heard that story 700 times in the course of their lives. That's a little bit of, uh fun to partake in and tell your parents about when they say, hey, little Bobby, what did you learn in school? You can be all like, I learned that Sega does what Nintendo don't. And then they'll send you to a rehab center. <laughs> all right, what do we got here? Uh, big ol... Oh, right, right, this, this one. I remember this one. So close. So let me in! Let me in! <laughs> oh shit. I, I, I need that to be rotating the other direction right now. This is. Oh, we're going way too fast. We're going way too fast! Okay, that's, the, that's a little bit. Oh, ho, ho. oh my god, look at this, look at this, look at this! We got it. Amazing. I mean, we still missed one, but... <laughs> it's just more chaos for the Emerald Man. You think I'm gonna die to those guys? You think I'm gonna get hit by a stray piece of fire? A piece of fire, they say? Okay, this time I'm gonna go check out the little, uh, the little cache of secrets up there. Because I don't remember what's up there. And it seems to be completely safe to check. Very low risk. Ooh, absolutely worth it. Even with the killer caterpillar here that they clearly intended for you to just run right into. But I didn't, because I'm built differently. Now, obviously, with, when I talk about branching paths and stuff, Marble Zone is a terrible place to talk about that because it's a very linear set of levels. Um, and in general, the whole concept of the branching level takes off way more in Sonic 2. I've played Sonic 2 a couple times, and I still find parts of levels where I'm like, oh shit, how'd this get here? There, there is a reason why, you know, everybody considers Sonic 2 to be Sonic the Goat Hog. It does have immaculately well-made levels. I, personally, am quite partial to Sonic and Knuckles, actually. Not, necess not necessarily even Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Just Sonic and Knuckles. I love the Mushroom Hill Zone. I love the music in it. I love the vibe that it gives off. I love the fungal aesthetic. And I feel like, uh... It doesn't get all of the love in the world. I mean, it's not like people are like, Oh, Sonic & Knuckles kinda sucks. No, no, nobody says that, because it doesn't. It's a great little game. But, you know, it's never mentioned as, like, uh... Being the best. I mean, heck, you'll find people who try to tell you that Sonic Adventure 2 or 1 is better than Sonic and & Knuckles. And I don't necessarily want to get too lost in the, uh, 
what Sonic games are good and what Sonic games are bad arguments, because you're just asking to uh, completely lose every sense of sane being that you may have in your body. <laughs> there's a level of Sonic fan where once you, once you hit it, there's no coming back into the real world. It's a, it's a uh, zone that I would sooner avoid and get caught up in. Check it out! It's another bonus level! We're getting more of these than I thought we would've. And then we can actually beat the Marvel Zone boss and then see what comes next! See something new! Because I'm pretty sure it's, like, impossible for me to, uh game over now. I mean, it's not impossible, of course, but it's highly unlikely. Now, hold on. Are we supposed to go over here? No! Don't go over there! That's, that's, that's a goal. A bad goal. Goals that you should not strive for. They're pointing, they're pointing you that way, and they actually weren't lying. And we got another continue. Did you hear that? Holy cow. This is actually the most insane I've ever been. I don't know which way I'm going. It's probably not this way though, right? No! It pointed me in the right way, but I fell. I slipped. My ankle caught some dry ice, and uh, my entire body did a comical skate all the way into the next county over. But that's a continue, and that's the way to do it. This song's gonna be jamming in my head all day. I know we're not on Twitch right now, but man, if we were, I'd, I'd be making my own second account and spamming Rat Jam in the chat right now. Because Cat Jam's fine and all, but Rat Jam is where it's at. And that's a nice little um, reference that nobody under the age of, you know, 17 will understand. <laughs> okay, okay. There's been enough rampant ageism in this episode for one go at it. Everyone's getting made fun of here. All you... who are getting too old for this shit. All you who are too young to know the ways of the world. I'm exactly 30 years old. I'm in the perfect dead zone to make fun of everybody and people just kind of forget I exist. <laughs> for all the negative press that uh, millennials got for years, oh, just you wait. We're going to be invisible real soon here. Once you hit your 30s, everyone forgets about you. They're like, what? There's an even younger generation who do things that I find even more weird? Unacceptable! There's a word for that. Juvenoia. Learned that from Vsauce. I don't know if he made that word up, or if that word already existed and he just brought it to light. But it's not a new concept. You know, people love to talk about how, oh, the new generations are, are screwed, they do things so weird and different and I don't like it, and it makes me angry and confused. Yeah, join the club. It's been that way all throughout history. There are ancient Roman uh, journal entries or something. Ancient Roman texts of the wise philosophers complaining about uh, the spoiled um, youths of Rome who no longer understand how to, you know, live life. Whatever boomer sentences you want to say. <laughs> My point is, it's not new and interesting to hate the generations younger than you. It's particularly interesting to embrace the generations younger than you. Now that's when you do something real interesting. Hold on. No, there's nothing over there. There's nothing over there. How do you know there's nothing over there? I forgot about the, the spikes in the side of the stairs here. 
I don't want to die. I don't want to get even hurt once, actually. Ah, that's the very slow caterpillar. My best bud. Is this where we came over last time? Look, can I hit that caterpillar slightly? I can't remember. Anyway, uh, yeah, old people learn from young people, young people learn from old people, but sometimes the other person's gonna get it wrong every now and then, so, uh, don't go thinking that you're above reproach. <laughs> sure, I get things wrong all the time. But anybody who, like, looked at me as some kind of authority figure on anything was already behind. Hey! <laughs> what the hell? Maybe this is where I died. Well, I didn't want to lose all my coins, but at least I know I can't, like, screw myself out of a bonus stage. Because there are none on boss levels, and this is a boss level. Yo, okay, that's right, there is, there is one more platform. This, oh, this, this is, this is a hellish one. Actually, it's not that bad. Now that I remember the pattern, I'm like, actually, it's not hard at all. It's much easier than the stage one. Like, what? What was that, Robotnik? That could have fooled maybe a nine-year-old or a thirty-year-old who forgot how easy it was. Free the animals, and finally, we'll see another zone. Forty-seven minutes into the video. This is a little past due. It's not where I was hoping we would have been at this point. Spring Yard Zone, better late than never. I wish I would have been uh, as cracked first thing in this video as I am now. But, you know, had to, had to get the muscle memory back. Oh! It's like the casino zone before the casino zone. I wouldn't be surprised if this was, like, the inspiration for a lot of the casino zone tricks. Yay! Yay! Well, I missed it. <laughs> I should have probably been hurt by something there. Well, same thing with that and that. I have evaded certain death in so many different ways in this level right now. I'm beginning to feel that I am immortal. Never mind. <laughs> well, I still avoided death. I just didn't avoid, you know, getting hurt. The game had to put me in my place eventually, though, so you can't be too mad about it. I don't know why I jumped there. Now I'm stuck with zero coins. ZERO COINS?! This is a really awkward jump. I remember this one. There we go. You gotta really toy with the idea of the game's momentum. Yo! That was cute, though! Look at that. Oh! And ten coins? May as well get even more coins, right? I mean, we got time. What, what else do we have that we're doing? Getting hit? <laughs> Losing our coins? Oh, man. Okay, okay, okay. Don't, don't, don't get killed by those things now. You have two rings. I kept calling them coins. They're rings. I'm, you know... They're round. <laughs> in some form. Man, so that that's a really tough one to try to like beat that and make it in there. I don't even know how a mortal man would do it. Well, clearly I have. Oh, ten thousand points hidden there. A hundred points hidden there. I don't know how, how you activate that thing and then get all the way up over there and down quickly. What could even be hidden in there? Perhaps a full continue? Can you find those in areas that aren't bonus levels? Probably. I mean, an extra life wouldn't be worth it, right? That's 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 not quite enough of a prize. 
Not for a feat that outrageous. Okay. So we ignore these guys. We pretend they don't exist, and then I. Yay, yay. Oh, no. Not a great start. Spring Yard Zone, you know, it's got a lot of spiky stuff all over. Spiky stuff that's bound to, uh, burn you off. Make sure you die. But now, check it out. Now we can't die unless we get squashed or fall into a pit or an evil wizard um, unslaps his balls on me. Or I don't know. Alright, let's get to the end of the level, huh? Oh, this isn't the end of the level. There's, there's more rings here. Or coins, as the ancient wizards like to call them. <laughs> the ancient wizards were not particularly wise. They were intelligent. They had a knack for magic, but they were not wise. New wizard lore just dropped. Appreciate it while you can. I, I just want to get my 10 points out of time here forever, honestly. That's the only reason I'm here. <laughs> you'd, ha you'd have to believe me, too, because it certainly doesn't look like I'm trying to get myself out of this predicament. <laughs> I want those extra three coins up there! That's all I want is uh, three lousy coins! Okay, I got three coins. <laughs> I'm good now. <laughs> I hope you all have fun watching this episode, because I'm having fun recording it. And those are the best kinds of episodes, you know? The episodes that are done after a workday where I am particularly loathsome of my occupation. And I'm like, wow. End me. Alright, Spike Ball, get out of there. He thought he was clever. Nope. He wasn't at all. No. Oh, that was difficult. And for what? This better bring me to something really cool. Well, I did get to avoid um, the little spindly, spindly, roly poly robot Sonics. But I'm not really sure what they're supposed to be. Okay, approach calmly. I knew it! I knew that was the end of the level! And I knew I had to get right into that ring. Alright. What you got for me? I mean, obviously. <laughs> it was gonna be this. There was no chance it was anything that wasn't this. In some form, at least. I don't know which way is the, uh, way that I want to avoid is the problem. Nah, nah, ay, 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 that's the way that I want to avoid. Thank you, thank you. I'll be leaving now. Don't go in there. Get out! <laughs> Gravity stopped. Gravity failed me! So many times I tripped and just scooped me right down to that tunnel and instead of the game sad. We have other plans for you, Sonic. Alright, Spring Yard Zone Act 3, bring it on. F 54 minutes in this... This has been, like, one of the quickest recordings of my life. Target Renegade, I was like, get me out of here. Sonic, I'm like, keep me in here. <laughs> the commentary is just, uh, too good right now, you know? Call me Wilm Shaxper, if you will. Well, you know, people think that Shakespeare's so great, but, like, he didn't even write Malcolm in the Middle. So, how good can he really be? I mean, come on, the dude was like... Romeo, oh Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? And Malcolm in the Middle is like... You're not the boss of me now, and you're not so big. Okay, that was... that was They Might Be Giants doing the theme song when we threw up that part. I may have, you know, embellished everything just a little bit there. 
going I'm we've died for the first time in so long we've died uh, what was I gonna say yeah I've been following that same uh, thread that same comedic thread of lying about pointless things this entire episode and quite frankly I think it's gonna pay off in a big way I'm looking forward to getting the Oscar See, there's got to be a way to get up on that. You just got to get real lucky with this, and there you go, there you go. What am I rewarded with? But some invincibility? Which I then have to go down and use down here for, I guess. Use down here for. What the hell is going on with my patterns of speech? Okay, and then I guess I have to ride this up, so I'm just wasting more and more of my invincibility. That's a shame. But I do have the bubble intact. My bubble shield is ready. It is no longer ready. <laughs> I've squandered it yet again. Okay, this time. Don't get yourself stuck inside. Aye. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> this is not at all how I imagined this would go down. Okay, okay. We're out of that hells hellscape. I don't even want to return. Okay. Going down will net me nothing, so continue going up. I wonder how long these levels actually are. Like, I can compare this to, like, Super Mario Bros. 3 levels. They're pretty long. Yeah, even compared to, like, Super Mario World levels, these are pretty large. Which, I guess, Super Mario World would be the much better comparison, because that would be the main uh, competitor to Sonic at this time. But we haven't started the Super Nintendo yet, and we will not for quite some time. There was treasure there for me, and instead I... I blew myself up and died. I am so sorry. <laughs> We're not gonna see what's past Spring Yard! It was probably just Labyrinth Zone anyway, and really nobody wants that. Fine. You win this round. You win every round. I tried to get up in there quick, and then I got myself squished. See, now I'm... Now I'm coming apart at the seams. I was doing so great, and then I decided it's time to stop with that great nonsense. Because we can be mediocre instead. It's uh, a saying that I believe my grandpa used to say. He said, why be difficult when with just a little bit of extra effort you can be completely impossible? You might say that it's a poor ethos to live your life by. I would say, um, you need to be putting in more effort. Just get me, get me over to Crabville. Send me to the crabs. Nope. Just slightly, slightly too, too high. Well, Spring Yard Act 3. Janking me around. Jerking me around, as I think what I've had intended to say there. But that's just par for the course in my vernacular today. I just cannot seem to nail any words. We all have our moments. Hey, that's a checkpoint that we never got the first time. But unfortunately, we're, we're gonna run out of uh, game time real shortly here. I know. I'm sad about it. You're sad about it. You you only you only get Sonic the Hedgehog one once in, on a channel like this. So we'll just uh, speed our way through as uh, slowly as possible. And uh, see if we can at least take a sniff at the boss here. That is an extra life though, so... To all of you who thought I was, uh... COPE?! WHAT?! WHAT THE HECK?! 
<laughs> now the game's just insulting me. Now the game's telling me that I'm just coping. Unfortunately, that is the full hour. That's all that we've got. It's sad that we must say goodbye to our good friend, Sonic the Porcupine. And, you know, perhaps we'll see him again one day. Well, I know for a fact we'll see him several more times if we're if we're running through the Genesis. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, that ain't the end of old Sonic. Uh, you all know. It's a great game. There's a reason that it um, brought the Genesis up into not just a competitor of the Super Nintendo, but potentially even put it in the position to destroy it. And you can tell that it did by the fact that Sega still makes consoles to this day and Nintendo doesn't. Ah, good joke. Anywho, the next game on our list in the Genesis is Batman the Video Game. Titled the same as the NES game. Made by the same people, but probably a completely different game. We'll figure out together. Thank you, as always, for watching. I'll catch you next time.